Reminder, you need to look to the skies in outer space because Sunday the world will be treated to a spectacular celestial show, a total lunar eclipse. On the night of Sunday, May 15th, for an hour and a half, the moon will cross through the Earth's shadow. The moon will actually change colors for a period of time to a more of a coppery red hue. And have you ever wondered why the moon has this color change? Well, NASA lunar scientist Brett Devaney actually tells us why. Yeah, I think it's actually one of the most beautiful things about the lunar eclipse. So as the Earth moves in front of the sun, its shadow is blocking the sun. And the only light that gets to the moon's surface is that light that is passing through the Earth's atmosphere. And so when you see um, the you know sunset or sunrise, you're getting that kind of beautiful orangish, reddish glow. And if you were standing on the moon, that is all that you would see, that orangish reddish glow from all of the sunsets and all of the sunrises across Earth that are being uh, projected through the Earth's atmosphere and onto the surface of the moon. That's incredible, didn't even know that. Remember, the total lunar eclipse will be visible across North America this Sunday evening. And speaking of which, I love these lunar eclipses. I love any kind of eclipse. The solar <laughs> eclipse, which you have to protect your eyes when you watch, right. but the lunar eclipse as well, even though it's past our bedtime, but there's something very unique about this, yeah, well, Adam. Yeah, you will. So first of all, yeah, I mean, anyone can see it. You don't need special equipment or anything yes. like that. You just literally look at the moon, so that's no problem. But what's cool is that it's happening pretty early in the night as far as total lunar eclipses go. So it's right around 1030 when it's going to start entering into the maximum eclipse phase, and you'll mm -hmm. have a little while after that to continue to watch it. And as you said, it'll be uh, kind of that copperish, reddish color. Uh, but, you know, we get these total lunar eclipses every now and then. There was one last year. There's actually another one in November this year. But the one, the thing that makes this unique is how early in the night it's occurring. So yeah, it may be past our bedtime. We gotta be <laughs> in early Monday morning. Right. But a lot of people get a chance to see this. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm probably gonna stay up. So I there's gonna I be a too. lot of luggage underneath my eyes on <laughs> yeah. Monday morning because I just I love it. It's just a celestial event, even though it does happen often. Mm -hmm. It's still beautiful every time you see it. And out of my window already this morning I could see this the moon. It's yeah. so big and beautiful. It's getting ready. I yeah. love it. And you know, another thing working in our favor, so we were talking about this happening Sunday evening, mm -hmm. is the sky should be mainly clear here in Houston also. Yes. So, yeah, we're all 